Hello guys, let's see this problem in Hakkarang called Tag Content Extractor. So I think you guys might have this HTML language in it or you might know it obviously if you are doing web development. So inside of this HTML language or XML as well, we have certain tags. So and they are inside angular brackets. So this is the tag and remember one, one of the rules is we have to end that tag by using a forward slash and there are some contents between them. So there are some rules for that. The name of the start uh, tag at the start and the end should be same. So basically if this is tag then this also should be tag. Or it is well explained over here. So if this is h1, this also should be h1. It, if it is h2, then it is not valid. Basically, we are ending h1, right? So it should not be h2. This is for a first rule. Second rule is tags can be nested. So it is kind of like if statements, not exactly, but inside of an if statement or if condition, I should say, there is you can have one more if or else if for whatever condition that you want. So it is like that. Inside of one tag, you can have many other tags. So okay, this is invalid. But inside of one tag and and the end of the tag, you can have a start and end of some other tag. Okay, and the third tag is tags must consist consist of any printable characters, which which means that these contents between the tags, there should be any printable characters. Okay, fine. They, these are the three rules. They are basically for us that you know how can we compile the regex for us to write the regex. Fine. This is the code. I'll just do one thing. I'll just copy code and paste it over here so that we can use some shortcuts on IntelliJ. So yeah, I don't think we need all these, but it's fine. So see, this is the public class solution. Then main method, and then they are just taking scanner to take in the number of test cases. Then they are just right, checking the test cases and doing test cases minus minus. This is all fine. We don't have to worry about that. So we have to write our code over here. Okay, fine. So let us do one thing. First of all, we have to. The thing is that if we find any match for that content, then we'll print that content. If it is not found then we'll print out none okay so for that we'll we can use a flag or a, you know boolean value so that we can check if it is found or not so you can call it is match or has matched or whatever so i don't know what to write so i'll just simply write is match and for now we'll set it to false fine after that let us do one thing we obviously have to write the regex so for writing the regex we need to create an object create an object of pattern class equals to pattern capital p pattern dot compile we have to compile the regex that we are going to write now so see okay hold on the thing is that they have told us let us do thing. let us just copy this code uh, over here so that we can you know get to know the rules you know and change it according to the rules and all by using a comment i'll just do one thing i'll simply commit it over here so if you see the first rule is uh, rule is that we have to start with the tag with angular brackets i should say so okay hold on this is the starting angle bracket this is the ending angle bracket and after that there should be something in between them which are the content so that is all fine first of all inside this there can be any character there as they have told us so any character means a dot and plus to check it afterwards okay fine and the end should be the same as this this thing so this is the nothing but the first group so it, it means that a forward slash and backslash one what is the meaning of one one means the first group that i have matched over here this should be matched by the end of the tag basically it means that if this is h1 this also should be h h1 and this forward slash means this forward slash backslash backslash one means basically we are checking for the first group afterwards in between this thing now see in between there can be there is there can be anything so you can write dot plus but one of the rules is that uh, it should not be an angular bracket so uh, it obviously means that you cannot use this leftward angular bracket with less than i should say less than angular bracket because it means other tag is starting and we don't want other tag so that should not be that so i'll simply write it should not be equal to the leftward angular bracket and a plus sign to check it afterwards i think this is this should be fine according to the compile you know we are compiling the regex this is the regex for it now we can use the matcher class so matcher let us create an object equals to let us say uh, we have to match the pattern that we have wrote so a pattern is stored in this pattern object so pattern dot we will do one thing we will simply match it right so we'll match it with what the we have to match this regex with the input that we have taken as line so we'll simply write line we have matched it if it is found then we'll print out true if it is not found then we'll simply print out false so to check if uh, basically to check if it, we have found it or not we need a condition and we have to print out print it out one after the other so the best loop can be a, a while loop for that so while first of all we have to check if it is found or not so let us call it matcher object dot find if it is find if it, if it is found then we'll do a simple task of printing it out so 
we have to print out the matcher dot v so remember one more thing we have we don't have to print out everything we just have to print out the group two because if you see this is the first group and this is the second okay hold on i don't want that and this is the second group and we don't and we just want a second group which are the contents that's what we want we want the second group that's why i wrote group two uh, not like this it should be like this okay fine this is the thing and i think yeah okay one more thing we have used this is ma is match boolean value right so it means that if a match is found we will simply set this value to true because the value has been found and afterwards if it is not found then we'll use a if condition to check if it is find, found or not so if we'll say if it is not found then we have to simply print out none because nothing is found so we will do our task of printing out none with a correct uh, spelling and all okay fine i think this should be probably working so i'll do one thing i'll just copy this code from here and i one more thing you can pause the video and check this out because i wrote the details for you but i explained it to you so it is fine so fine now i can just paste that thing over here and submit the code to see if everything is working perfectly fine or not okay seems like there's no error i solved other problem okay i got the 25 so it is fine so that's all from my side you can subscribe to our channel to get updates regarding new videos so that's all stay tuned and keep learning thank you